Live roaches, improper cleaning supplies, just two violations shutting down a popular Fort Myers Beach restaurant for a whole night. Yeah, the health department doing a routine inspection at Parrot Key Caribbean Bar and Grill, finding those violations and a few others as well. Now, the restaurant has since reopened, but tonight, Four in Your Corner's Lisa Greenberg talking to the restaurant about what steps they've taken to correct these issues and make sure this never happens again. Lisa? Well, Patrick, Amy, we went to Parrot Key Caribbean Grill today to talk to them about these violations. They wouldn't let us inside because they didn't want to disrupt business, but they did tell me they take these violations very seriously and they're calling this a fluke. Parrot Key Caribbean Bar and Grill, offering dockside dining right along Fort Myers Beach for almost 20 years. We've been voted uh, best waterfront dining since about 2005. And during that time, their marketing director, David Castan, says... We've had numerous health inspections and we've always passed every single one. Until two and a half weeks ago, during a routine health inspection... They found some, uh, a lot of basic violations and they found, uh, I think it was two uh, serious violations. One serious violation, according to the inspection report, live roaches two in front of a region cooler at a weight station and two on a cutting board at the cook line the health department also finding a dead roach in the drain of a salad prep station roaches disgust me dead or alive and that's not all this is what you want your microwave to look like neat clean but the health department says the microwave at parrot key caribbean grill was soiled with encrusted food a repeat violation. Other basic violations, an employee using a hand washing sink as a dump sink and storing tongs on equipment door handles between uses. One violation listed in this report, a high priority violation, the sanitizer in their dishwasher wasn't at the proper required minimum strength. That problem wasn't able to be fixed when the health department came back the next day. We had made a call to get a service tech out here and they hadn't they hadn't come out yet, so the health inspector gave us more time to allow the uh, service tech to come. Cast and tells me they run a tight ship and the inspection report was of course upsetting and taken seriously. A fluke occurrence, but we treated it extremely seriously and uh, we'll do our best to make sure it never happens again. And while some visitors are still wary, you don't get it out of your head, the thought is still there. Her husband says he'd give him a second chance. If you can get it fixed and control it, then uh, you know, I'd give him a shot. Now, on the follow-up inspection later that next day, there were no violations and the restaurant reopened. It was less than 24 hours later. As for the roaches, Castan says not to make any excuses, but this is Florida. There are a lot of bugs, and they do have a regular extermination service come every week. Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4, in your corner.